Hello everybody, welcome. So I'll show you how to implement email sending into your Flask application. Uh, the base uh, stuff I have here is just a simple Hello World Flask app uh, and we'll build on top of that. We'll be using the email module that is built into Python and the SMTP lib uh, library that is also built into Python. Uh, we'll be also using Ethereal uh, email to actually send the, these emails because it's just a fake SMTP service which allows us to test stuff without actually creating accounts and you know, sending emails to actual humans and the transition between the two is quite easy so starting off um obviously i will create a second route a post route at that so app route will be a slash um slash email will be a method equals post so this will be a post route uh, we'll define a send email and really that's that's it and it will return uh, return email sent there you go that's our simple uh, post route for sending emails so <clears throat> what we'll do here is um, import the SMTP library of course um, maybe I'll do that above the flask one and we'll be implementing well I'll, I can just copy this bit really because we need both of these. So we'll imp import the SMTP library, which allows us to set up a connection to an SMTP server, which will actually send the emails. And then the email message, which allows us to define an email message using the email uh, package. So to define a message, what we need to call is just message equals email message. This is a constructor, I believe, which will allow us to, yeah, it, it's a class. It allows us to create an email message to it then we can we can call set content which allows us to set the contents of the message you can read more about it down here so you can send html you can set attachment stuff like that we'll just be sending some text in our case we'll just send a uh, uh, long time no see uh, my friend all right that's going to be our message content and then uh, we need to add the subject the from and the to we can I'll also copy this comment it might be useful for some of you to see so the subject is obviously the subject of the message. I'll name it, uh, the subject will be um, a hello from afar, from, now this is from who the message is coming. So in here I'll put something, something funny like um, Jimmy, Jimmy, oh, and then you do it like this and you say Jimmy at Jimmy.com. I misspelled it every single time, but yeah, so two, and then here we'll put the, an F string of the actual email. And now this email I'll get from the request body. So we'll say email equals, so from class we need the request. So then we can say request, ooh, ooh, dot JSON dot get, and then we wanna say email. If there is no email, we want to get none. So that's we're gonna get the email, and then afterwards what we wanna well, what we wanna do is say s, which is gonna be the uh, SMTP lib connection, and then we wanna pass to it the message. So that's gonna happen here, and then we're gonna do s quit, which is gonna quit the is gonna terminate the connection. So we're missing a few things here, mainly this line, and then another one. So the SMTP lib has quite a few things in it. The main one is the, the this one. So this actually defines um, a connection to the SMTP uh, server, right? SMTP lib definition. Uh, SMTP no, no, no lib SMTP stuff. So this is where we define the connection, and then to it we pass the port and the host. So the host will equal to uh, what we get here. So I'll do create an Ethereal account. So the host is going to be this. And then the port is going to be so. And then the port is going to equal 587. Is it supposed to be a string? Um, I really don't know. Maybe. I'll leave it as a number. I hope it works. If it doesn't, it's supposed to be a string. So then afterwards, what we want to do um, after setting up an SMTP server, we want to say s.login and to it we want to pass the email, the email or the user and the password. In our case, that's going to be 
this is the email or the user and then the password is going to be this but before we do that we want to say uh, what was the thing called LTS start TTLS this uh, makes every this makes the connection secure um, and all the communication between the SMTP and the server encrypted which uh, just means that um, I mean you don't need this line but it just it's good to have it and you should always have it because it makes it you know secure it makes it HTTPS encrypted okay and kind of done so we can now do flask run and if we don't have any errors which we don't that's surprising we can go in here um i can make this a bit smaller because we don't really need to get the whole screen in there we can do slash email and then to slash email we want to go to the body to the raw to the json and then we want to say we want to send an email in there the email that we're going to send the message to will be the biggest email dot at uh, email dot com and then we want to do send and we'll get email sent back so if we then go here i'll go to our ethereal email go to messages we got the biggest email at email.com a hello from afar long time no see my friend from to everything is there it all works perfectly 10 out of 10. now you can read more about like how you can set up attachments and stuff like that it's it's quite simple actually as you can see because this page is not that long and it covers everything basically but uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And I'll add a, a simple explanation. I'll have to do this with uh, Gmail as well because it's the most popular thing into the actual code which you can check out on GitHub and possibly start the repo. Thank you for watching and goodbye.